A leader's attitude determines the culture and climate of an organization. His positivity, his motivation, his involvement, his encouragement can make or mar an organization. Many of her plans have failed due to lack of proper planning, strategies for execution and delineation of clear instructions as to how those plans can be materialized. A leader may be very hard working but if he does not have a strategy or if he does not delineate the clear steps for execution of his plans, he may not cut ice. Many plans fail because of lack of organization, the disability of, on the part of the leader to define goals and also to disseminate ways of implementing the vision of a leader. An organization can prosper if all the members share the vision of the leader and take concrete steps to implement them. And that can be done only with foresight, with planning, with follow-up, with regular monitoring and clearly finding the areas of weakness and taking concrete and positive and proactive steps to avoid any such lapses which may lead to impediment in the path of execution of leaders' plans for taking the institution to unparalleled heights. If I am heading this institution, I must have a concrete and definite plan as to what will be my strategies for improvement of the institution in the next three years, the next five years, the next ten years and so on. Because unless and until I have very clearly defined my goals and delineated the steps to execute those goals and also disseminated to the staff members how each one of us are going to take proactive steps to execute and give a concrete shape to those goals, we cannot succeed.